What's up guys? This is a video all about backpacks. If you're looking for some type of FP backpack that you can fit literally everything into, uh, iFlight just released their backpack for 2021. And I'm not going to say this is the best backpack of all time, or it's my top choice for 2021 because I haven't been sent any other backpack this year. So this is the first FPV backpack that I've gotten this year. And I have been able to use this now for over a month. And before, I mean, I am super low maintenance when it comes to FPV. I, a lot of times when I go out to fly every day, I'm flying a, a basically a new quad every day. I'm going out for you guys and I'm carrying all my stuff in a huge cardboard box. Um, I, I've joked before and, and called it my FPV briefcase. Uh, I have to be able to fit everything inside something. I mean, a laptop, my batteries, the quad, I have to have my field tools, everything, a charger sometimes, and even an external battery for charging batteries on the go. So um, this has been a nice experience for me going from a cardboard box to something that is actually useful. Um, this backpack is not the cheapest one out there. It is around the $200 price point, but it's really well made. And the great thing about this bag is, yeah, it's pretty big, but it's not as big as my FPV bag that I had before. It was kind of like a small, like kind of travel bag. It had two different cells in it and it had modular interchangeable inserts. And this one also has that, but um, this one is slightly waterproof and sort of a, an easier bag to deal with. It has a handle on the very top for just picking it up on the go. And it has straps in the back for, you know, some mild hiking. I don't know how much hiking you're gonna do with all of this volume because it does have 33 liters of volume inside this bag. That's a lot of beer. So uh, if you can get that up the mountain, you, you might want to come hang out with me because I need you to carry my uh, my adult beverages. So let's go ahead and let's put this one uh, on its back and let's just go over it together. We'll look at the backpack itself. I'll put the link down below. And remember, if you guys want to buy from my links, it benefits my family and keeps the channel going. So I really appreciate that, you guys, and uh, helping me out. So let's go ahead and take a look at what iFlight has to offer. So I think one of the craziest things about this particular bag is the fact that it has an LED feature on it and it comes with this little sort of 3D printed device and you can put in like a 3S2200 battery and you can turn it on and it will have LEDs surrounding the outside of the bag. So if you're like hiking down the side of the highway and you want to be seen or you just want to show off to your buddies, this has different color LEDs. And these little strips right here are inside the bag and they plug in to the unit itself. It's pretty cool. So if you look at the very bottom of the bag right here, the very back, you have these little wires right here. You plug in a battery to the port, the XT60 port right here. And you can see these lights on the end of it. it has a little iFlight logo right there. You plug in one of these and kind of, we had to do some trimming on mine to be able to get these to insert down in here. And we're not really totally sure actually where they insert but um, once we had them inserted it was cool because it like blasts that light all the way down through the tube and out on the inside of the bag hopefully it's actually working yeah you can kind of see it um, but yeah I mean it's kind of a, a cool feature but not really something that I, I think is going to win me over for a bag I'm not going to choose this bag or something else just because it has LEDs on the outside now why I did choose this bag I really like this bag because it has several different features that I, I like. Traditionally, it has an outside three strap setup for, you could add probably a maximum of about four quads on here, different sizes. You can also use those little uh, ties. They have twist ties over at Home Depot or Best Buy you can get, and you can add more stuff on here. So um, a lot of external storage that you can hang stuff on, and it has a place up top. If you have the bag standing up, open it like this, because when I have it down on the side, I guess one of my cons is that if you open this up here, sometimes things are falling out if it's laying on its back like this. It also has another nice mesh pocket inside here for something like your car keys and your wallet. And I keep extra cables and things in there for a beta flight. And this is kind of cool. This comes on and off, so you can add your own patch. Maybe you have your FPV pilot name and you want to put that on your bag. That's kind of nice. And they give you two different ones. I just choose this one because it said just send it. And I like that, but I wish this was maybe a little higher up like this 
so that when you open the bag, that stuff didn't fall out. So if you have anything heavy, it's kind of coming out like that. So uh, one criticism there, but I think that the sort of water resistant zippers are kind of nice. They're closed up and they won't have a lot of moisture coming in. If it starts to rain, you could probably fit up to four quads inside this bag. Um, I don't believe mine came with a cover, an actual rain cover. So that's one thing to consider there. But when you open it up, here's where the magic begins because here are our divider cells. We have one, two, three, four pockets here. You have an extra spot here. Also another mesh pocket for adding. I usually keep my leads and things like that in there. And Velcro sticks to it really nice. So you can add things like a battery checker in here like that. I've got my digital scale. I have another mount. I have my FPV goggles. And back here is usually where I keep my batteries in this back cell back here. We have a couple different pockets on the side as well. Open that one up, reveals another pocket. And it's a nylon, I believe it was a nylon exterior and polyester interior, by the way. And this looks like almost like a waterproof pouch. So this could be nice if you wanna put your phone in there. So that's kind of like two levels of waterproof cells here. So that's kind of cool. So if anything really important that you want to keep dry, put it in this one and that way you have two levels of waterproof protection. That's kind of cool. And on this exterior, you have two side pockets here. This is nice because I have my monopod holding my phone right now and my camera recording this video and I can take that monopod and I can slide it down in here. I've got this top bracket right here to hold it down and this has a little bit of give to it. So you could actually get a water bottle in here too. So tripod or water bottle there and you've got more LED type of um, sort of faux LED type of light on the outside there. It's just another detail in this bag. And on the other side, a very similar twin pocket on the other side with a strap across there for an extra water bottle. And again, another pocket on this side with two more sort of dual density layered waterproof pouches in here. So each one has a zipper there. And if you had some type of tool or digital device that you wanted to keep dry on your FPV hike, that's cool too. And they have another spot here for sort of a mesh pocket down bottom. And they have a Velcro spot here for maybe a few different taller tools. You can fit in this pouch as well. And they have more LEDs sort of outputting right along this pocket as well. And on this, the back of the backpack, we also have some other features that I think are pretty useful. They have some mesh sort of, the foam has holes all the way through I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera. It has holes all the way through and a mesh exterior. So you get a lot of breathability when this is over top of your shoulder. So also some padding on the back with a dual density mesh. And we have a chest strap here. We have a waist strap across the bottom for when you're going for those long hikes. It gives you that extra bit of support. It puts most of this weight on your hips, which is super cool. You've got another strap here on this side and this side. So you can put even more things here, maybe your GPS tracking units. Um, but I, I think that this was nice because it's pretty customizable. It has a nice top carrying strap for me and it also has a laptop cell. So on my days when I'm filming, pretty much get all the gear I need in here. My laptop, hard drive, power cable can all go in there, no problem. And I don't have to worry about having enough room for a single day's worth of filming. I think this one's pretty cool. So um, I've been enjoying it and I've been waiting to show it to you guys until after I actually have used it. Put some wear and tear on it. I mean, I've had it out now uh, two or three weeks and it doesn't appear to be breaking down. I didn't have any threads coming off of it anywhere or anything coming unstitched, which is also really good. So um, I, I think that the exterior of it is pretty damn durable. Uh, for especially for how rough we are on stuff. I think most of you guys are probably as rough and tumble as I am on on uh, road trips and FPV guys in general, we tend to like, you know, kind of uh, put our stuff through the works, so to speak. So it's a tough bag. And uh, for the price point, I think you're kind of paying for what you get. You know what I mean? So if you spend 40 bucks on an FPV bag, yeah, it's, it's going to do, it's going to serve you for some time, but not not a long time. So this this bag would last you a long time. Um, I just think it's kind of a gimmicky thing with the exterior lights, but eh, it's kind of cool. They did something different that other folks haven't done and uh, kind of sets it apart from the pack. But most importantly, it is something that you can use every day and you'll appreciate using it. And 
it's durable. So you can check this one out in the link down below. And don't forget to subscribe and comment on this video, guys, because we're giving away that Xiaomi Fimi 4K Mini coming up on the channel real soon. So um, get yourself a nice FPV backpack, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Stay humble and be kind out there in the FPV community, guys.